good afternoon and welcome. Um, for today, um, welcome to Galactic Soul Healing. Um, thought today we might focus on uh, the purpose of the uh, divine masculine aspect, okay, for men and women. So, the divine masculine aspect in men and women, okay, because we all have a divine masculine aspect. Because um, I think there might be a little bit of everyone, I think, has got a bit of an idea about what the divine feminine is kind of about. But I think the divine masculine, uh, obviously, there are people out there that are kind of clear on that. Um, but I thought we might use a couple of decks today to kind of um, shed a little bit more light on the divine. Uh, masculine with regards to uh, the physical body the thinking the feeling and the wise self or higher self okay um, which I also like to th think of as the soul self so it's that part of you that's you know um, more connected to spirit it's the wise part of you okay um, so these are the decks we're going to be using um, so we've got um, Starseed Oracle by Rebecca Campbell. Okay. And we've got Gods and Titans by Stacey DeMarco, which um, have the, the uh, masculine images. Um, this is just kind of, kind of up the frequency for us and, and sort of take it even more into a bit of a divine realm for us. Okay. Um, so I'll just get you to um, watch as I shuffle the decks. Um, let's just actually we'll do these first. Um, so, okay, so this is all the cards. This is the book. Okay. Um, and this is Rebecca Campbell's deck. Those there. Right. Um. Okay. Now. <sighs> okay. So, um, just while we're shuffling here, um, just like to request that um, <sighs> any uh, spirit guides or Centered Masters, Archangels, High Frequency Light Beings would like to assist us uh, with you know the messages, the giving and receiving of, of the messages that come through would be really great and we'd be very grateful for any assistance, any sort of clarification we can get on this uh, purpose of the divine masculine is and we, we understand there could be you know several purposes we understand that it's valid but we just want a little bit more information about um, perhaps even how we can uh, activate it or the kinds of things that we need to do to um, activate it a little bit more um, you know basically allow it to come to come forth as we all have it we all have the potential it held within a potential within us and that goes same goes for the divine feminine as well okay so I'm just going to cut the decks once okay now this is a new deck so we're just going to um, River to breathe <laughs> and uh, yeah any assistance would be wonderful from you know any galactic civilizations, uh, Arcturians, Syrians, Bulavians, Andromedans, uh, Venusians, Lyrans um, and, and many others, any others that wish to assist us here in this reading 
both the giving and the receiving of the information that comes through. Okay, let's cut. Okay. Now. So, you can design your own spreads like this too. If you have a question or you want clarification on something, you can just um, do this as well. So, this so we'll go body, uh, thinking, feeling, higher self, wise self here. Okay. Card stock on these is a little thicker than the uh, Gods and Titans, so I'm just making sure I don't have two there. Okay, done. Right, put those there. We won't be touching those decks now. So, first of all, we're going to be looking at. Um, purpose of the divine masculine aspect for men and women with regard to the physical body so what you know what does that mean okay um wow isn't that beautiful love okay so that's love gods and titans and this one is or eros which is love and this one says uh jump in andromeda energy adventure say yes to change so the thing I'm getting from that is that with regard to the physical body, okay, it's asking us to um, take care of it. So we need to, you know, do some self-care, self-love with regard to a physical body. And also um, that, um, so adventure and change and things like that, it's sort of saying that um, even with the ascension process that we're going through, it changes physiologically um, it's saying to try and go with the flow and do what we need to support ourselves physically as we go through that process which might mean you know we need to do um, maybe we need to uh, tweak our nutrition a little bit to boost our energy level maybe we need to take in more water we might need to get more fresh air than normal we might need to rest more than normal than we have you know in past years perhaps um, and yeah it's also saying um, adventure so it's kind of saying you know um, in terms of perhaps physical expression or exercise try something new okay be a little bit adventurous within reason and keeping in mind your um, physical if you have limitations or your, fit, fit, your fitness level and things like that you've got to take it your uh, blood pressure into consideration you know you don't want to do anything that's too outlandish that's going to give you a heart attack okay um, just um, yeah basically um so it's sort of saying this one is jump in so it's really like um that divine masculine is kind of like that action okay now especially with regard to the physical so it might mean that um you know maybe you don't you're used to just walking around the block or something it might be that um you know if there's a park not too far from you or even a um conservation park or a um yeah, national park or something like that. Maybe get some friends together in the car, do a bit of a hike, a bit of an adventure walk through nature. Okay. Um, so there's lots of things you could do there. Um, yeah, and I guess it's also just reminding us that um, as we have physical form, you know, it is um, nice to be able to show affection. Okay, and love. We need to actually love one another as well. Okay, so that's important. There we go. So that's really quite handy. Um, okay, let's look at the thinking. So the purpose of the divine masculine with regard to our thinking. So this is actually really giving us, this one we just looked at, is really just giving us clues as to what we can do um, uh, divine masculine aspect is that part of us that's helping us going to take do some adventure physically but also um you know do it with some self-care in mind okay um now the thinking we have set 
chaos. Okay, now that can mean a few things which we'll look at in a minute. Um, this one is Inner Earth. Interesting, and it says, You'll survive this new solutions and beginnings. So, uh, recently because of COVID, of course, there's, there's been a bit of this going on. You know, we've been in probably a little bit, the feeling not uh, centered, grounded, you know, in our thinking, or our thinking's kind of, um, you know, our thoughts have kind of perhaps become a bit overwhelming. Okay. Um, but it's saying here uh, that, you know, you'll get through it. Um, that new solutions and new beginnings will be presenting. Okay, the other thing about chaos is that um, sometimes with change, sometimes a phase of change is, is a chaos phase. Okay, so it, it could well be that um, that um, you know it's unfortunate the type of chaos that we've had to deal with. Um, um, however, I guess for those people that are that are coming out the other side of it, okay, um, th they're it, having gone through that will actually change those people. So, if there are people that get through it they will be changed from that experience like how they would have experienced that chaos but sometimes what, what then will come from that is that there's a this sort of like a recalibration or a resorting of things okay and that's why it's literally, literally new beginnings so it's literally like saying this is almost like coming out the other side of the the change that's been going on as a result of this and that is going to affect our thoughts okay and what we're thinking about this one here. Okay. Um, yeah, and it's almost almost saying too to just kind of if you're visualizing, doing some visualis visualizations on this. Okay. Um, because you can put yourself in a different state of consciousness where you're actually experiencing a uh, you know a very safe space a paradise okay and that will actually help you help the thoughts too um it's almost like these are quite um they seem to be quite opposing cards aren't they they're, they're, they're actually quite different but in some way they are associated with what we said before okay so you can use this to help with this but also this is is a is part of what's happening that is going to lead to this okay I'm not saying it's uh, ideal right um, now feeling feelings so the purpose of the divine, uh, so I guess the, the divine masculine here is actually kind of saying that um, that the unsettled type of energy that this represents is a it's like a rattling or a shaking up of energy, but it's saying that the the divine masculine actually has the strength to write that out. I believe that's what it's saying. Okay, but especially when it's coupled with this, with this here. So it's really like um, if you are, um, you know, feeling overwhelmed with um, negative mind states, part of you activating your divine masculine is really that um, digging in the heels and really just um, really capitalising on on the things that you can be grateful for. Okay, and really uh, doing some. You know, serious meditation and self-care. Right. Um, so feelings. Okay. 
okay ecstasy and wow I'm sorry it says defenselessness writing past wrongs and uprooting so isn't that interesting that's that's very bang on feelings isn't it um this is actually about really about those emotional connections we have with people people we may have um upset or we feel like we've maybe behaved dysfunctionally or um not compassionately and that sort of thing it's kind of really at, um identifying that and just really softening the whole stubbornness about it okay it's actually um, a f kind of a forgiveness thing this one too because uh, part of saying sorry is also just accepting um, in yourself what's what's happened and also I'm um, just forgiving yourself for even doing it and uh, just apologizing um, this I believe is actually about um, you know it could be about um, addiction okay um, because wine uh, Dionysus is actually the god of wine um, so it's sort of saying that um, mm, um, to I don't know that joy is actually the same as ecstasy because ecstasy has more of a sexual feel. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I think it might even be talking about relationships because these two together, it's literally like saying, um, you know, if you've been in a relationship and things haven't worked out, okay, feelings wise. Um, it, it's a matter of just uh, accepting you know um, yeah uh, this can also be a bit of a warning card as to um, to kind of not become um, uh, overly fixated on that, acquiring this state. However, um, I believe once you, if you're meditating on a really high frequency, I guess what I'm trying to talking about here is like um, sex addiction, but you can also acquire these states on a higher frequency as well. So, um, yeah, it's more about probably um, accessing that state for yourself as much as you can in terms of bliss and joy, okay? We're not not uh, referring to the sexual ecstasy, okay? We're referring to more like spiritual transcendent types of ecstasy, like really elevating the frequency, okay? Um... And often what happens when people do that is they um, other other things come to light, so they start getting insights about themselves, and then they can put them into this space where they go, "Oh, I probably need to apologise," you know. Um, but it's also about nipping things in the bud here. It's really about you know if things come up to do with feelings it's better to um, rather than hang on to feelings like that it's better to uh, try and um, talk it through at a good time when both people are able to talk about it um, without becoming reactive if possible and just really listening um, or even requesting the other person just really listen to you because you don't have to really apologise or something like that um, yeah. 
so this is almost about um yeah acceptance forgiveness and um you know apology which is to do with compassion okay and this is probably about you know um because once sometimes when we do this and we clear the air and we clear the negative energies that are hanging around us we can more it's more easy to move into these states here yeah, in a spiritual way okay so it's feelings um wise self Well, it's a very soul card, this one. Soul plan, the fated life versus the destiny life. Okay, so that. Is about. Um, that your soul has a plan. It's almost like, you know, like, um. Your soul essence has a certain, um, well, your soul has a certain essence about it, okay? And it's really here, I remember, it's about remembering it. But sometimes in order to do that, we need to kind of be clear a bit of a pathway for ourselves. So we might need to either get um, some strategies where we can um, put other things to us to the side set times so that we can actually uh, do this work and get in touch with our soul plan and start to rem remember it okay it's not that the soul plan is going to be destroyed it's that um, there needs to be a, uh, a bit of a, a falling away of the, of the um, even if it's just a partial falling away so that you're allowed to do that you can have times to do this more and more to remember Okay. Um, um, so destruction is, um, it's more about, um, well it's, it's to do with change again, okay, uh, for the higher self, which we're on here, for the higher self to come forth, which is the, the remembering of our soul plan, okay, um, it's saying this pairing here is saying that the divine masculine aspect and particularly Shiva you know as a high frequency entity you can ask for assistance from Shiva to just say look you know I really need some assistance to have time for myself to be able to kind of do some meditation or whatever it is that you need to do um you know can you help me with that or even if you feel overwhelmed with other things that people are demanding of you that you don't have time you know, you just really um, pray for some assistance to find some windows of opportunity there where you can just go look. Um, you know, could this happen, or could someone, could you just do whatever while I'm just going to go in here and da, 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 you know, like um, even if you just say to people, look, I just really need to just do some relaxation in my room now. You know, you don't have to go into the full details about what you're doing. If you feel those that the people won't be. Um, open to it or supportive in a way that you'd perhaps like them to be because not everyone's into this okay um yeah so that's that which is about sort of creating boundaries for this to happen which is about that right so hopefully that has been helpful um but yeah i think this one here is actually really that the, the um, divine masculine is really going to be helping us to kind of get through this and move into a new uh, joy and blissful states okay so it's really that um so we'll do some key words in a minute i'll just be back in a second
someone not put something in. Okay, so basically the we're going to put down some key words here underneath. So for the body, so the divine masculine here, um, which was about, um, it's really just a case of being active, isn't it? So, so divine masculine aspect, uh, especially at this time, it's helping us to basically um, be active and a bit adventurous. You know, within reason. Okay. Be active and a bit adventurous within reason with regard to our physical body. Okay. Now, that's with safety in mind, mostly, is what I'm saying there. Um, thinking, um, which really, in a sense, here. It's actually um, endurance, isn't it? This is uh, en enduring, okay, because we're literally having to, um, it's that unsettling, that unsettled feeling. But the divine masculine, you can kind of help you to endure, right? Because um, Set, as you know, was a god in Egypt, I believe. Isis's brother who actually killed Osiris, her husband, right? Um, and he's actually quite jealous of him and he cut him up into bits and all that. So the thing is, he obviously had issues. So he either behaved chaotically or he actually had a lot of chaos going on, uh, you know, in his mind. Um, so um, it's kind of also kind of trying to allude to us that even though there is chaos, okay, there's still, there is still a center. Okay, so it's really, um, it's actually having faith. Faith. It's really the f um, faith to endure. Faith that you can endure okay faith that you can endure so and that you will be able to devise some thinking and strategies or research and strategies that will can help you to endure okay so if you're aware that your thoughts are going off on tangents Okay, it might just be that if you listen to the news every half an hour or you're trying to keep up with all what's going on in the whole world and really where you are, you're actually okay, well, maybe you, you don't need to be tapping into what else is going on all of the time. You know, maybe once a week or twice a week you check in, but maybe you don't need to be doing it every day and checking in on every little thing that's going on. You know, because what's that doing to your thinking? Because as we know, there's a link between thoughts, emotions, and our physi physical health, our physiological state. Okay. Um, feeling. So this one here. So it's almost like, you know, moving through apology. Um, moving through the apologies. Um... Uh, and into more joy really you know I mean it's um, yeah writing wrongs and moving into higher frequency okay it's actually so that you can move into higher frequency because if you're carrying a lot of stuff around Okay, it's really hard, it's going to be hard for you to shift into high frequency, okay? Writing the wrongs. So, you can raise 
your frequency. Okay, so writing the wrongs so that you can rise your frequency. Okay, because if you just carry around a lot of blame and anger and you know a lot of stuff towards other people that's not um, that's actually uncomfortable, negative, and doesn't make you feel good. Okay, you really need to start writing some of those wrongs. Okay, um, and probably the same reply uh, applies if people have been wronging you okay maybe it's a case of um just speaking up a little bit and trying to get some sort of clarification you know um so the wise self one we had um the soul plan which is about taking time for your soul to do some remembering okay and the uh I'm going to put the scissors, the destroyer, but it's literally almost like Ganesha. It's like um, removing obstacles so that this can happen. Okay. Um, so it's almost like um, um, yeah, it's almost like creating opportunities, um, finding opportunities. Opportunities for more time. <laughs> to do soul work. Because literally if you if you take time uh, for your soul to kind of find out what it's about. Okay, that's soul work. Um, so this, I'll just read this one again in case you didn't get that. Um, so it's finding opportunities for more time to do soul work. So the Divine Masculine will help you to um, find that time. Okay, which is about not destroying everything around you so that you can sit there in meditation, but um, perhaps destroying old patterns of behaving and thinking and feeling that have even prevented you from doing this okay so it might be completely inner stuff that you need to do away with or it might be external things that you need to do away with uh, to some extent or to find little opportunities okay um, so it's kind of about finding opportunities um, it, and you know removing obstacles as well really isn't it um, let's put removing no, I think we'll just leave it um, because finding time basically not having time or perceiving that you don't have time okay is an obstacle that can be something that you are doing yourself or it could be something that you're perceiving is coming from outside of you okay but for instance I mean if you watch TV for three hours every night and you're really busy for the rest of the day and you think in your mind well I don't really have any time for this because I'm already flat strap um, are you really okay so it's prioritising, um, it's really probably a case of prioritising screen time, uh, soul work time over screen time. So in, in other words, I think Shiva might even be saying here, you know, destroy a bit of the screen time so you can get some soul time. Okay. I mean, depends how you want to interpret that. Um... Yeah, so the key words we have here were being adventurous, okay, endure, um, raising your frequency, okay, righting those wrongs, moving past the, the low vibration stuff, moving through it, not pushing it to the side too much, 
sort of addressing some of it, okay, processing it, working through it, um, bit by bit, okay, you don't have to address everything in one go bang, because you, that might be too much, um, and finding time for soul work, which is just time for you to do some meditation, do some research, um, you know, uh, there's lots of things you can do on YouTube, you could literally just Google soul work, okay, and see what comes up. Um, so there we have it folks um, so that's that there and um, yeah if you want to take a screenshot you are most welcome um, so this is the purpose of the Divine Masculine so basically um, you know this is the uh, the body, so we're doing self care here. Uh, the thinking, which is you know, we have been in chaos, so it's really about getting some strategies uh, to manage that better and navigate it. Um, and here, this is ecstasy, which I'm actually going to take as, as raising frequency to a high, high frequency state. Now, I'm not actually saying um, that's not necessarily because these images obviously look you know, a little bit, um, like, there's probably some sexual activity going on there. I'm not actually saying that people should run around and have lots of sex, okay? Obviously that needs to be done in balance, but it, it's referring to this state here, which is, um, you know, if you're in bliss and joy, okay, that's a high frequency. So it's about raising frequency. And this is, um, yeah, about removing obstacles, okay, either inner obstacles or external uh, obstacles. Um, so that you can have more time to do this or even give yourself permission to accept or acknowledge this part of yourself in some small way okay um, yeah um, and I actually really like these cards because I definitely um, yeah that's really nice a soul plan there it's good especially on that higher self end uh, the, the, uh, on the plan there so um, to leave it at that so that was a bit useful um yeah see you next time thanks for watching